hey guys so downgrading an ios version is always a pain in the neck particularly for people who are not very tech savvy so in this video i'll show you a very simple method to downgrade from ios 16 to 15 with just a few clicks so let's jump right into it so the first thing is let me show you that my ipad is running on the ios 16 as you can see so before you proceed i suggest you to disable the find my iphone or ipad so that it doesn't cause any issues just in case while restoring so the next step is to go ahead and connect your ipad to your macbook or laptop in my case i am using the macbook right now and one important thing guys do not use this usb-c to lightning cable as i had issues putting the ipad in dfu mode or restoring it so just use the normal usb type a to the lightning cable that usually comes with your ipad mini 5 just use the type of cable that comes by default with your ipad or iphone so you can also use something like this a dongle to insert that on your macbook c port now moving on just open the itunes or the finder on your macbook and open the ipad as you can see it is running on the ios 16 and currently i do not have any backup so I'm going to go ahead and take a backup right now and also I'm going to restore this. So you can see this is the backup that we have taken just now. We are going to restore this once we downgrade the iOS version. Now go ahead and download this software. I'll drop a link in the description. This one also has Mac and Windows versions and this has a lot of features. Apart from downgrading, you get a ton of uh, iOS repair features as you can see here it's like an all-in-one solution for your iPhone or iPad and it's one-time investment totally worth it I would say if you are not very tech savvy this can make things a lot easier so definitely check this out anyway now go ahead and download the software so once you download this the software looks quite simple and very easy to use so we are going to use the downgrade feature here You'll get standard and deep downgrade now standard is for minor ios version downgrade like 15.5 to 4 etc now we are going to try the major version so ios 16 to 15 so we are using that and click on the deep downgrade option now this will automatically download the suitable ios 15 that is available as you can see you don't have to go search in the website it will take some time depending on your internet connection and once it is done you will see this message that it is finished now click on the deep downgrade over here and this will start the process of downgrading your ipad to the ios 15 as you can see your ipad will go something like this uh, this will start the downgrading process just be patient and wait for about 10 15 minutes do not do anything if you get this notification just ignore it and cancel this and just let the software do its job it will finish this in about 10 15 minutes like i said once it is done you will find this message that the downgrade is finished and successful now your ipad will start from scratch you need to just take a moment to set this up like you normally would once you get to this particular point click on the restore mac or pc now open the finder and just try and restore the backup now this will not work as this is running on the ios 15 right now but we have the ios 16 backup so it will say something like this it is not compatible so to make this work on the home screen of your mac click on the go option while pressing the option key it is important to press the option key to get this library option and click on that and find the application folder over here and click on that and you will find something called the mobile sync folder now open the mobile sync folder and go all the way down and you will find something called info.plist now this is something that we need to edit so to open and edit this file right click and click on the get info option and here you will find the application that it can be opened with click on other and choose all applications now here you need to find the text edit as you can see here and now you can edit this file so once you're done with that now you can open the file and here you need to make some changes at this point click on command and f at the same time and you will find this search bar over here just type product and you will get to this point now just change the number ios 16 to 15 
that's pretty much it just go ahead and click on done now you should be able to restore the backup just open the itunes over here or the finder and just click on the restore at this point it should work without any issues as you can see here and your ipad will also show the same information that the restore is in progress and it will take some time and once that is done your data is back on your ipad or iphone so you can see this is also running on the ios 15 now so that's pretty much it for this video guys don't forget to like this video also subscribe thanks for watching guys i'll see you soon